Hello, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Honoured and privileged to be joined by renowned investor and financial expert, Jim Rogers. Jim, welcome back to FNN. I am delighted to be here, I'm a fan. First up, since Trump came into power, we've seen a lot of volatility from global markets hitting all-time highs to plunging to fresh lows after Trump introduced tariffs which China has retaliated to. But what do you make of all this? Well, Mr. Trump has promised several times that he, he wants a trade war and the people around him and the, and the ones he's gathering more and more up are very much in favor of trade wars. So I'm afraid that it's going worse uh, over the next couple of years. And when things get worse, Mr. Trump will try even worse trade wars. So Jessica, you should be, uh, should be knowledgeable while you're at FNN know you're knowledgeable you should start getting worried and you should start getting prepared because before this is over we're going to have a very bad bear market and as you've just alluded to and what you've mentioned previously you're predicting one of the worst bear markets for stocks in your lifetime and that's before even mentioning a trade war so what can we expect from global markets this year jim i'm very bad at market timing jessica you should watch it <laughs> i'm telling you i'm i'm hopeless at it but my view, for what it's worth, having told you I'm hopeless, is that uh, there'll be a rally later for whatever reason. Somebody will come to their senses. Mr. Trump train, changes his mind every day or so. so. Who knows what he'll wake up doing next week. We'll have a rally, uh, and then that rally uh, will be the last rally. Uh, it could be a big rally, but then uh, that'll be the last rally. And then we start going into the bear market later this year or next year. You know, it's been 10 years or nine years, depending on how you count, since our last bear market. That's an unusually long period of time. Now, the, the Central Bank in America, by the way, says we won't ever have a bear market again. So if you believe the Central Bank, you should not listen to me at all, Jessica. It's never going to happen again. I happen to know they're wrong. Uh, and the next bear market is going to be the worst in our lifetime. And now, that's not such a strange statement. I mean, we've had bear markets every few years forever. And the last bear market was terrible because of too much debt. So Jessica, the debt has gone through the roof. So the next one's going to be bad. But when we have the next bear market, I suspect it will start later this year, but I am hopeless. Whenever it starts, whether it's in 2030 or this year, I don't know. But when it comes, it's going to be a mess. And the U.S. federal government has increased expected forward-looking deficits how worried should we be? We should all be extremely worried about it. As I said, the market in 2008-2009 was caused by too much debt all over the world, including the U.S. The debt has gone up many times since then. The central bank in America alone has increased its debt by over 500% in just nine years. So this is going to all be very concerned. I don't know this specific numbers in Australia, but I can tell you everywhere, even China has debt now. China never had debt for decades for historic reasons. Now China has debt. So we've all got serious problems facing. Moving back to the U.S., where do you see the Dow Jones sitting by the end of the year? Well, by the end of the year, it probably will have gone up and then gone back down. So let's say it'll be where it is now. Uh, but 2019, what we should be worrying about this year is not nearly going to be like, not going to be nearly as bad as 2019 and maybe 2020. And Jim, you've previously mentioned investing in China, Japan, and Vietnam. But what other sectors or parts of the globe should we be eyeing for 2018 and beyond? Well, uh, agriculture, I'm very optimistic about worldwide, especially in China, especially in Russia. You see, Mr. Trump is. Uh, you know, Mr. Trump is making China great again. He's making Russia great again. He claims he's making America great again, but his trade wars are actually helping other people more than America. So I would, I certainly, agricultural worldwide, certainly in China, certainly in Russia, probably even in Australia too. So I'm keen on Australia. I'm keen on Russia. I may buy more Japanese shares for the next rally whenever it comes. You know, the Japanese market is down nearly 50% from its all-time high. The U.S. market is near its all-time high. So I prefer to buy things that are cheap rather than things that are near all-time high. And can you say what stocks you're loving at the moment? I'm hesitant to do that because then people rush out and buy it and they don't know what they're doing, uh, which I have found over the years is, is 
good for them or anybody else, not good for you or them. I guess I would say may well uh, an index fund on the New York Stock Exchange of Agriculture is RJA. That's the symbol, the Rogers Agricultural Index. It's an index. It's not a specific stock, but it is. it trades like a stock. I just said I'm optimistic about agriculture, so maybe maybe something like like that I would I would mention to people. And what's your advice to investors in this very volatile environment? Well, uh, if you're going to invest, be sure you invest in something that you know about because it's going to be very very difficult times, and a lot of people are going to lose a lot of money. If I'm not one of them. Uh, just stay with what you know, and if you don't know anything, just put your money in the bank and wait. Uh, Problem is, if you put your money in the bank, you got to own the right currency. I happen to think the U.S. dollar is going to be a best currency for a while. Then it's going to turn into a nightmare uh, in two or three years. But in the meantime, uh, I would put money into the U.S. dollar in the bank if you don't know what else to do. But just stay with what you know. Don't listen to me. So what do you think investors should be doing to hedge? Well, they probably should buy a farm and become a farmer. But if you don't want to buy a farm... Think about buying agricultural products. Agriculture has been a disaster for 30 or 35 years. That's in the process of changing. So uh, agriculture and farmers are going to be in the, in the driver's seat, the tractor driver's seat uh, in the next uh, five years or so. Jim Rogers, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us. Okay, let's do it again. Thank you.